Hi everyone and welcome back to your Understanding Culture, Society and Politics subject. This is still your instructor, Mr. Kirp Anthony A. Ramos. And for this session, we will be talking about political organization or authority and legitimacy. Okay, so let's go ahead and start first okay, uh, with this term, okay? so the ban. So uh, definitely if we're talking about political organization or political affiliation uh, before, Okay, definitely it started with a ban. No, hindi siya nag hindi siya nagsimula as isang malaking bansa agad-agad. It started with a ban, and a ban is usually small, and it's this is being formed by several families who are living together, and they're oftentimes moving from one place to the other in order for them to search for food. Okay, so definitely uh, by by that time, no, nung, nung nagkaroon ng tetao natin na ban, ang mga tao or yung mga pamilya ay nagkakasundo, of course, no, na syempre, dahil kailangan mag-survive sa pang araw-araw na buhay, no? Ano ba yung hinaharap natin at ano ba yung pinaka-essential na makuha natin sa pang-araw-araw? Of course, pagkain. Because without food, definitely no magkakaroon ng problema yung yung mga pamilya at maaari sila mag-away-away. Kung kaya, no, nung, nung time na ito, nagkasundo yung iba't ibang pamilya, no, na they would be coming together and they would wa- uh, they would want to move from one place into the other in order for them, of course, to search for food, no? Syempre, without food, they won't be able to survive. And take note that bands are egalitarian, meaning no, lahat daw ng pamilya ay pantay-pantay. Walang mas higit sa kanila. Pag sinabing banda, automatic grupo ito ng pamilya at bawat pamilya ay pantay-pantay. Okay? So in band, there is also no class differentiation based on wealth. However, there are status differences based on gender and age is well defined. Bakit? No, simply because during this time, no, dito nagsimula yung thinking na kapag ang lalaki, no, uh, or ang lalaki definitely ay mas ano no, mas angat kaysa sa mga babae kasi nga ang mga babae ay nanatili sa tahanan. No, so ang lalaki talaga ang nagbabanat ng buto so that they will be able to survive for their ever, everyday living. Okay, likewise, no, yung sa pagdating sa edad, definitely no, yung mga yung mga tao sa band sa bands, definitely they would give priority or they would be uh, giving emphasis doon sa mas mga matatanda. Bakit? Because of course, no, ang iniisip nila during that time is that kapag matanda ka or mas matanda ka, definitely no, uh, ikaw ay merong mas experience compared doon sa iba pang mga ano no, iba pang mga tao, no? So in that sense, definitely, okay, differences based on gender and age that they are well defined. Okay? And there is also no formal leadership during this time. Instead, those who possess special skills and knowledge can be raised to become informal leaders. So commonly, no, kung sino yung halimbawa mas malakas, mas matalino, no, kung sino sa kanila yung uh, yung merong kakayahan na wala sa iba, definitely they are being presumed to be the informal leader. So that would actually be banned. Pero nung time na to, of course, uh, nag-evolve itong ban. So we also have what we call as tribe, no? Nag-evolve into it a tribe or tribe kung tawagin natin, no? And uh, comparing this to the ban, it is a more complex and a large a larger ano no, unit compared than a ban, okay? And as the population increases, there is also a shifting from a basic form of livelihood to a multiple way of living kasi during that time no no nasa band definitely ang ang kanilang iniisip lang ay makakuha ng pagkain in order for them to survive their everyday living no pero pagdating sa tribo there are already multiple ways of living no na nag-evolve na ito na hindi lang ito ano no na hindi lang ito tungkol sa livelihood no or pagiging uh, mabuhay kasi isang ano no sa isang araw instead no sa mga so sunod na ano no sa mga sunod na na tagpo sa tribo definitely they find ways in order for them to find multiple ways of living okay so in tribes okay this is being organized through pan tribal associations in the form of councils tribal leaders elders and alike no due to the presence of multiple communities in a tribe okay so this is commonly being headed by a village headman who perform leadership roles but has limited political power no hindi lahat no hindi lahat ng ng, ng kapangyarihan ay nababasa kay village headman so also it is worthy to take note that most tribes remain egalitarian ibig sabihin no lahat ay pantay-pantay walang mas angat no na, isa laban sa isa no definitely they are equal so that would be tribe pero hindi rin nagtapos sa tribe or tribo no yung pag-evolve ng uh, association ng mga tao we also have what we call now as the chiefdom. So if we're talking about the chiefdom, it is a more defined political organization 
Okay, so comparing chief dam no uh, than uh, than band and also by uh, by tribe, definitely chief dam is a more defined political organization. No, pan nasabi because it have more or less permanent full time leader with real authority to make major decisions. Unlike before, no, uh, sa banda meron silang informal leader. No, meron uh, sa tribe naman they actually have a village headman na uh, limited yung kanyang ano no political power so sa chief dam no there is actually ano no a, a full time leader with real authority already no na talagang siya nagdedesisyon at siya yung nasusunod and these leaders are referred to as the chief that's why kaya siya tinawag na chief no or chief dam it's simply because no ang ang chief dam no ay pinamumunuan ng chief no it is a kingdom na ang ang head talaga ay chief no and formal leadership exists and authority rests solely on the members of a selected family no and it is also composed no chief dam is composed of several communities that is being ruled by a permanent paramount chief coming from this elite family and power is being inherited na si for example kung pinanganak halimbawa si person A lahat ng ng kapangyarihan niya ay may papasa sa magiging anak niya at mga kapapuapuhan niya No so uh, simply put this a uh, power is I don't know it's being passed from one member into the other okay and chiefdom no with this it can be either a simple chiefdom or a complex chiefdom but if you will be asking what is the difference between a simple chiefdom and uh, and a complex complex chiefdom in a simple chiefdom it is being characterized by a single village or community rules by a single family so in short no merong isang sing, uh, merong isang village or community that is being ruled also by one family no a complex chiefdom is basically being composed of several simple chiefdoms no maraming village or maraming communities but this is still being ano no being being ruled by a single paramount center Okay, so simply put, no, sa simple chief dam kaya siya sa nabi na simple. It is simply because single, no, isa lang yung village or community. In in a complex chief dam, mas malaki because there are several simple chief dams na binobuo rito. Okay, so since we're talking about the political association of the people, hindi rin nagtapos sa chief dam, no. We also have what we call as the states and the nations, no. And uh, for the past few years, no, we are interchangeably using this uh, terms, no. Pero may pinagkaiba ba yung dalawa? Let's uh, check about this one, no. So if we're talking about the nations, definitely, no. This, uh, simply put, this is actually, okay, a an ethnic concept, a cultural concept, because with this, no. Out of the breakdown yada of political organizations, what emerged dito no sa mga nations is actually we are sharing common history, language, traditions, customs, habits, and ethnicity. And if say for example you are part of this, no na meron kayong common history, yung grupo nyo ay may common history, may common language, may common tradition or customs, you are actually being referred to as nations. No, again, if we're talking about the nations, this is an ethnic concept which is ano no based on culture. No, all of the cultural concepts like history, language, traditions, customs, habits, and alike. No, so definitely, pag sabi natin nations, hindi natin tinitingnan dito yung political concept. Ang tinitingnan natin dito ay yung ethnic and cultural concept kagaya ng lengguahe at ng tradisyon. Okay? Pag pinag-usapan naman natin ang state, definitely it is a political unit consisting of a government that has sovereignty presiding over a group of people and a well-defined territory and has the highest form of political organization and take note class no sa sinabi uh, sa sinabi natin definition no uh, definitely masasabi natin na comparing state sa nation ang state ay political concept no mas formal ito compared sa nation but uh, ano anong anong ano no elemento ng state or paano masasabi na ang isang lugar ay isang estado no uh, sa definition na bigay na yung lahat ng elements of state so meron tayong number one, there should be a government no yung government that that entity should actually embody kung ano nga ba yung ninanais ng mga tao or the aspirations of the people No. Second, there should also be sovereignty or kasarinlan, no? Meron din kapangyarihan dapat yung ano no, yung gobyerno na magpatupad ng kanyang sariling adhikain para sa kanyang mga tao at hindi dapat ito nababahiran ng kahit anong ano no, impluwensya ng ibang territory or ng ibang bansa, no? That is sovereignty. So, take note also that there are two ano no, that sovereignty can be broken down into two. We have the internal sovereignty which is yung kakayahan ng gobyerno na magpatupad ng kanyang batas 
at kanyang adhikain sa kanyang sariling bansa. At meron din tayo tinatawag na external sovereignty which is actually the freedom from external control at hindi tayo kinokontrol ng ibang bansa. No? So that is the second element, the sovereignty. Third would be the people. No? Siyempre, paano mo masasustain yung bansa mo kung wala kang tao na ninirahan dito? No? So definitely, sobrang halaga na mga taong ito. And of all, the, ano, no, of all the elements, people is the most important element of the state. Okay? Because without the people, definitely, hindi masasustain ng bansa ang kanyang okay, pagiging estado. And lastly, we also have what we call as the territory. And territory would actually be ano, no, imperative. Bakit? sa mamumuhay ang tao kung walang teritoryo. So definitely, a state is actually composed of government, sovereignty, people, and the territory. And take note, kung may mawala ni isa man na elemento ng estado rito, definitely ang lugar na yon or ang bansang iyon ay hindi matatawag na estado. No? So that's it for the definition between states and nations. Now, No, let's talk about authority kasi pinag-usapan natin dito ang political association. So there is someone who must actually be able to ano no to to lead the people. And take note class that of course, no, uh, authority is really uh, is imperative because authority is the right to command. And authority is being observed when an individual has a command to make a person do things. Because without authority, definitely magkakagulo tayo. Hindi natin alam kung sino dapat nating sundin, no? So authority is really important so that the people will be able to observe those that are being expected from them. No? And legitimacy, it is a value whereby something or someone is being recognized and accepted as right and proper. Okay? So let me also present to you the three types of authority according to Max Weber. So uh, we have the traditional, the charismatic, and we also have the what we call as legal rational. So uh, comparing the three, so according to the source of power, Okay, in traditional, this is being legitimized from well-established customs, habits, and social structures. In characteristics, this is being legitimized from the charisma of the individual. Whereas in a bureaucratic, no, in bureaucratic, ano, no, type of authority, this is being legitimized from formal rules that is being promulgated by the state through its fundamental in implementing laws. In, in terms of leadership styles, in traditional, there is a historic personality. In charismatic, there is the, a dynamic personality. And of course, in, in legal rational, we have a bureaucratic leadership style. No? So examples of traditional, it's a monarchical rule, yung, yung nanunungkulan ang hari at reina. Whereas in charismatic, ang example nito ay religious leaders. And of course, sa legal rational, ay yung tatawin natin ng mga government officials sa modern states. And that's it for our discussion about the political organization or authority and legitimacy. And let me also grab this opportunity to thank everyone for attending our session. And I hope to see you all on the succeeding one. So thank you, everyone, and have a great week ahead of you.